Oh, um, I found these in a drawer for you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. These are marvelous. I I thought you liked them, especially you know the ones of you and Dad. <laughs> when the memories come flooding in all at once, it's truly really incredible. There certainly are a lot of memories, a lot of things to think about. He lived a long old life. I used to love just sitting there and listening to his stories. It all felt so real the way he'd tell it. Like I was truly there, just experiencing them with him. I love when Anna has our little kid. I want him to love me as much as I loved our dad. Yes, well, we never could pry the two of you apart. I mean, I know he was my, our, <laughs> our dad, but um, he was so much more than that. He was the things that he did, the places he'd went. You were his treasure. I know. He cared about you too, though, you know? <laughs> no, he he really did. All those family holidays you went on, those books he bought you, even that bloody cat that drove us insane. <laughs> All of that was for you. I loved that cat. At least one of us did. Yes, I suppose. Mark, which one of us do you think Dad left the house to? Mark, I only meant... Uh, see? A drink, a drink. Please let me make you a drink. A cup of tea, please. is because I need to know where I'll be living and, and I want look I I, I just... know why you asked I I know why you asked and the real truth is I don't know how can you not know you knew everything about each other you were there for him when mum died that was ten years ago so he still told you everything he told you about my divorce before I had the chance to for God's sake he was worried about you of course he would tell me if he was so worried about me then why couldn't he give me some of his fortune when I was on my own and couldn't afford a house? That oh, was not fair and you know it. He was trying to look out for you. How was leaving me to fend for myself, looking out for me? Maybe he wanted you to be more like me. God, Mark. Why would I want to be anything like you? 